Here's Trish. Thank you, Roger. Well, wherever I go, I always have fun, and that's the operative word here at Delaware. Joining me now, though, to speak about a horse with the name House of Fun is his driver, Richie Silverman. And uh, Richie, House of Fun, back-to-back -back wins, never better? He's never, ever been better. Uh, he's been racing tremendous, really, all year, even through the Meadowlands. He raced great. Had some tough posts and uh, had to come from behind, which he's come 26 seconds, you know, just about every week. Uh, he's really coming into this race on top of his game. Well, he's in the senior jug today, and it's a short and select field of five. As a driver, what does a short field say to you? Well, a lot of times what will happen is he'll just uh, line up and walk around the track where there won't be enough action really for a closer or a uh, horse, you know, coming from off the pace. So it all depends how the race unfolds. Usually you want to be up a little tight up close in the short field. Well, you know, he was first up to victory in his last start, and that was on the big mile oval. How is first up on a half mile different? Well, you tr I'd surely rather be first over on a half-mile track than on a mile track. Uh, you have, you know, tap the stretch to get home. And usually if you can collar the horse on the front coming around the last turn, you got a good track to win. Where at, uh, on a mile track, you have a very, very long stretch to contend with in front of you. That's right. That lane can look awful long sometimes. Well, you know most of these horses at House of Fun is in again. So give me a short assessment of today's senior jug. I think without a doubt, uh, the horse to beat is jet lag. Uh, I think that if my horse can get a little luck and get a decent trip, I definitely think I can beat him. Uh, Cam knows best, uh, you know, has the rail, but he really hasn't been on top of his game lately, and I think I'm definitely better than him. But uh, I believe Jet Lake is the horse to beat, and the other two are good horses too, but uh, I don't think they're up to the uh, task of the other uh, two. Well, with House of Fun, uh, as I said, he's just been racing on the mile. What half-mile experience does he have? Uh, he's winning 54 freehold, I believe, and he's fine on the you know, on the turns, and especially here at Delaware, Ohio. If you don't have a horse that can get around this track, you better never put him on a half-mile track. Isn't that true? Richie, you know, they say in your bio that you never want to do anything but work with the horses. I hate to say remember when, but I remember you out in California when you were still a teenager running around, uh, and uh, you took this seriously, but now that you've been in it for many years, uh, what's the best thing harness racing has brought to your life? Uh, I guess really... The closest that I've uh, occurred with my father working with him every day, I would say, would be the, uh, the, the greatest thing about it, besides all the enjoyment of the winning, and because there's a lot of loads that go along, you know, that go along with it, but uh, just the closeness that I've endured uh, being able to work with my dad this closely. When you started out driving for your dad, there was a lot of people that didn't take you seriously. However, you've had longevity and you stuck right with it. Were there, was there ever a day when you thought, eh, I'm not going to last in this? Well, you know, everybody anticipated that the only reason I was winning races was uh, because of my dad's horses and the quality of horses that he had, which has helped my career tremendously. But now over the last five, six years, I've been at the Meadowlands without any of dad's horses during the winter. And I've been hanging in around 10th and the leading drivers there and uh, making a living. So I guess I proved them all wrong. I guess you did. Well, you keep hanging in there, Richie. Great to see you again and good luck. Thank you very much. Let's go back to you, Sam. <laughs> this is Roger again, Trish.